dear Alma. This is your mama and your papa. And today is March. What date are we today? I don't know, but 19th or 20th? 19th or 20th. Um, I am three months pregnant. We found 15 out weeks. 15 weeks. We found out we were going to have you in January. Best birthday gift ever. And we're very excited to meet you and to have you. Although the world is going a little bit crazy. Um, you want to tell her about the pandemic, honey? There's a pandemic. As we reported earlier, the coronavirus outbreak in China continues. Of great concern now is that the virus may be spreading even faster than previously thought. This one is scary because it is a brand new virus, so we don't know how it's going to behave. Sono parecchi anni che lavoro qui in terapia intensiva, sembra di vivere un qualcosa che che vedi solo nei film. Coronavirus will overwhelm the NHS unless everyone starts to practice social distancing. The US now has more than 85,000 cases with more than 17,000 reported in the last 24 hours as the country sets records for new cases just about every day. I always knew that one day I would have a child. I also knew that when the time came, I wanted to document the process of creating life. What I didn't know was that I was going to be pregnant and give birth in one of the most challenging times for humanity, a time when the entire world had to come to a stop. 2020 will go down as the year of a global pandemic, the spread of a virus so strong that will kill hundreds of thousands, cripple the world's economy, question our political systems, and test our humanity to the core. And for some of us, it will be remembered as the year we brought life into this world. The year we had to learn how to appreciate the little things in life, the people we love, and the gift of life itself. So, in January, uh, we found out that I was pregnant. Jamie was in New York, um, so I didn't want to tell him over the phone. So I waited for him to come back home. I was so taken aback, and I was very beautiful. Uh, I cried. I uh, was so in shock that I broke my tooth. This is the pregnancy. Uh, strip but on that if you have a look i'm not sure if you can see it there's my tooth which i've taped to it because <laughs> uh because it broke um broken it, tooth yeah but it was a very test. beautiful very beautiful moment i'm very excited yeah um we already knew that the pandemic well it wasn't a pandemic back then but we already knew that something was happening in china but it was very far away you know we never thought it was going to come yeah. so close to home because of that, we isolated ourselves pretty quickly. We had a fear and we have family in Italy and Colombia and Australia and Jamie watches the news daily. So we knew in February what was coming. And there's a recognition of our interdependence that requires of this moment that we direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. Your decision to not physically distance yourself may kill someone. This isn't just about you. It's about all of us, everyone. Don't take risks, don't mess around, don't be selfish. So, as of today, they just announced in the news, my dear Alma, that we cannot leave the house unless it's for going to buy groceries or for emergencies. And they give this notice until April 30th, which is nuts. We're too small for you. <laughs> Good luck. So far, even though this craziness, I've had a really great pregnancy. Uh, I haven't had any nausea, any crazy cravings. I'm the I'm the pregnant one. He's a pregnant one. He's more pregnant than I am. He's been leaving the stove on three times in a row. I'm pregnant through osmosis. Osmosis. Yeah, he forget things in the stove. He broke three glasses off in a row in 24 hours. Like he's more pregnant than I am. Yeah. 
this is how we stay creative in pandemic times. I'm here in Jamie's studio. These are his sculptures he's been doing for a while. These are his new paintings. And right now he's working on a new painting. That's me. I'm going to keep working on that. What you doing, baby? I am making banana bread with the old bananas that we have. We're learning to be a little bit more thrifty with our what we eat, when we eat it, and how we eat it. Uh, exactly. we, we used to be a little bit more decadent. Paola getting some rays. Good nutrients for the baby. This is the garden bed John, my neighbor, and myself have been building. John built the structure, I did the bed. And we're growing veggies for the pandemic. Ironically, it's a, a beautiful moment for us. We can't work. <laughs> we're stuck together having a baby and we're enjoying the process. I have already had a child uh, in New York and I worked where it was working and I was building a business and I didn't get to enjoy the process. This time we're really, I'm, I'm really engaged, I'm here and I'm really enjoying the process. The only things that are a little bit painful is that I can't go to mm -hmm. doctor's visits. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, can't, you can't see the ultrasounds. I can't go into the ultrasounds. We've been reassured by the birthing clinic that I will be allowed to be at the birth. Mm -hmm. um, but within saying that, her mum is, lives in Colombia. Yeah. They can't come. You know, we've got told yeah. the Australian borders uh, may be closed until 2021. So it, it truly, the main stress is about the disconnect. Yeah, and you're not being able to see Paloma, you know? Mm. It's like. But I think we're trying to do the best out of it. We try to stay positive and have a sense of humor and make fun, even fun of the situation sometimes. You know, we do a little photo shoot. I proposed to you as my quarantine partner and you said yes. So we're just trying to do the best. Jamie used to be bi-coastal, work half of the time in New York and then be with me in Los Angeles for the other half. Because of my profession, I have to travel often to Central and South America, as there is where I book most of my acting gigs. Therefore, for the past few years, we have always been on the move. Actually, this is the most time we have spent together in a row. And thank God we like each other. But this is definitely a test on our relationship. It's pushing us to be more creative, as we have to find new ways to stay positive and entertain each other. Hey! How about Jamie? Hey guys! Hey guys! How about Jamie too? I wanted to say that thank you for doing this, Daniello and you know Lily and everyone at your household because it's really the only way Jamie and I have got to connect with people. Like we started our quarantine very early, like on March first, because mm. I have family in Italy, so we knew how bad it was and how bad right. it was coming. So this is the only time we have to actually connect with you guys, and it's really nice, and I'm just grateful. It's the best. Thank, thank God for our community. <laughs> yeah, we've got a really really cool community that's been years in the making. Like let's. Let's yeah. use this moment, let's use this technology, let's use this weirdness to, <laughs> to not feel separated. This is live right now. Our dear friend uh, Helix is doing a interactive performance and this is live. Wow, awesome. That's rocks. <laughs> Oh, I want to break free. I want to break free. I'm having so much fun. Are you guys having fun? What a great time. This is amazing. Uh, I know, you know, it's not perfect, but that's part of the beauty of this. Uh, we've never done this before. And here we are, all coming together, all enjoying this time and this experience. It's just amazing. There you are. Now this goes outside, stays outside. Good job. And then I start the process of de-sterilizing myself. That off. That off. Take out the jacket that goes outside. 
We leave it in the sun because apparently the sun kills COVID-19. That's going in here. I'm cleaning the veggies because of coronavirus. A teaspoon of baking soda in a large bowl of water and you leave it for two minutes. And then you rinse all the veggies, you clean all the baking soda out of it, you let them dry and then you put them in the fridge. This is the precautions we have to take not to get coronavirus with every single piece of fruit and veggie. So we don't want to worry people, we thought maybe if we tell people now that I'm pregnant, instead of being excited, they're going to get worried and nervous, so we're just going to wait a little bit um, to tell our friends, I mean our closest family members they know, but our closest friends they don't know, nobody knows in LA, and I keep joking that because this quarantine, we don't know how long we're going to be isolated, you know, it could be months, and, and because I'm pregnant, we won't be isolated for a little bit more, so I keep joking, but at the time I come out, I'm going to have like a little baby who's going to say, Mama, people are going to be like... What happened in this quarantine? My dear Alma, I never imagined I would be pregnant during one of the worst pandemics in history. I don't know how this will change our way of life. My wish is that at the end of all this, you will encounter a brand new world. May you bring us hope for a new generation, where we're more in tune with our environment, and where people are kinder to each other. <laughs>